Okay, another mock sapphire to start the draft. All right, we are passing an upheaval though. Some planeswalkers, search, some Eldrazi. Benjamin the Monarch, thank you for the 11 months. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Eh, we won that match where we attacked into the moat, to be fair. Telerian Academy, Gush, Lotus Petal. Well, it's true, I haven't stormed yet. I'm going to take the Academy here. Mainly, I would just like to thank the Academy. The earlier you take it, the better it... Uh, Normal. <coughs> we might go storm. We'll see. Cranberry juice with the 34. Thank you, my friendo. Oh, my thing's not updating. Oh, my session expired. That's why it's not showing up. Whoops. The Kuya. Gifting a sub to Grad Paj. Congrats to Grad Paj getting that gifted sub. There we go. I know I can see it all. I might have. Did I miss any other subs? I don't think so. Uh oh. Probably gonna wield the Mind's Desire. There's a Mana Morphos here. Mox Diamond. Can't really pass a fast bond. This card is OP. Jeez. I think this is probably Memory Jar. Workshop is spicy. Gruel Signet's good. Gotta get the draw seven. It's also an artifact. Draw seven's too good with Fast Bond. It's a Bing Lao. Thanks for that Twitch Prime. <clears throat> Tooth and Nail. I don't think I want Empty the Warrens, do I? Could take Inkwell. We don't have to be Storm. We could be, like, uh, Artifacts. Have I ever played Smokestack in Cube? Multiple times. Many times, I should say. Mentor easy? Nah, I don't want to do Mentor things. What? This is still a good start for Brown Town. What are you talking about? That's true. Greaves might be better than Inkwell. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'm down for that. You've convinced me. Balance and a Sphinx. With artifacts, balance is normally pretty OP. Sphinx is very good too, don't get me wrong, but this has huge power level. Could take Academy Ruins now for the potential combo. There's also a Soulfire Grandmaster combo with uh, Time Walk. But I think I like the Ruins more. Well, yeah, you can effectively discard lands to make your opponent discard cards. Upheaval is in, yeah. I think we passed it already, right? Wasn't that in our first pack? This could be interesting. Could also just take the Lotus Bloom. I think we'll do that. Lotus Bloom's pretty nice for balances. What's the next giveaway gonna be? Let me look at my spreadsheet. I think I just gave away the... The last one was the code, right? For uh, MTGO traders. One, two, three, four. I think I've done six giveaways now. So next one is... Uh, another blue microphone. Am I giving away any arena codes today? I mean, if you've already redeemed one, then you cannot redeem any more. It doesn't do anything. <sighs> Dark Petition keeps us open to Storm. No, uh, I was wrong about the microphones. They are... Everywhere. Anywhere. You miss them? Alright. 
Let me pull up my Kenji codes. Let me pull up some more arena codes for you guys, you folks. There are a bunch of individual codes. There are like 10 or more codes there. So note the, uh, note the spaces in between. Expansion Explosion could be good in the Storm deck, too. Alright, you can try that. Mine's Desire Wheel, there it is! Okay, we doing things. Yeah, they should be for one guilds of Ravnica pack. Ooh! We're still very open to multiple decks here. Like, we have a Storm deck brewing, we also have a Brown Town deck brewing. Eh, we'll eventually do Red Rocks Me, I'm not scared. Or I'm not worried. <clears throat> what is this pack? Metamorph, I guess? There's a Hostage Taker here. Signet. Is Metamorph better than Signet? Signet might be better. A hatchery spider. Success. Thran Dynamo. <clears throat> Remand, Worm Coil, Dark Slick. I'm just gonna keep taking Brown. It can't go wrong with Brown, and I have Workshop plus Academy, so. All the artifacts are great. Enlightened Tutor. Mana Leak. Oh, Nykthros! I can add so much brown mana? Dude, that's insane. There's a Dark Ritual here if I want to storm. This is where we start reaching a turning point. Start to reach a turning point in the, in the draft. This is where I need to kind of decide what I want to do. You guys like Thirsty? All right. That sounds fine. I guess that still goes in all the decks. I have a feeling at least once we're going to mill out our opponent with Explosion. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, Enlightened Tutor was another good pick there. Strip Mine, Compulsive, Azorius Signet. Azorius Signet's real good too. Oh, but Strip Mine. Like, two of my lands and a, a lot of my spells want me to just keep taking the rocks though. We're gonna end up with a deck that's all ramp and card draw and no win con. Well, not only that, but uh, they, they brought in the Ram and App Excavator. We saw the Excavator in one of our opponent's decks earlier. So, you don't even need to get uh, Crucible. You can get the Excavator, too. Rakdos's Return is a powerful card. Although we can pretty easily ramp into an Ulamog as well. Ulamog's also better with Mind's Desire. Eh, what the hell. Sword of Body and... Uh, not Sword of Body and Mind. Winter Orb, I mean. <laughs> That's a nice one. If I'm untapping Telerian Academy every time, that's probably pretty good. <clears throat> Forge Master. Or Oracle. Forge Master doesn't really do too much right now, but it has another pack to go to find. I guess it's only like Blightsteel since I've already passed Inkwill and Sphinx, right? Yeah, I passed Sphinx and Inkwill Leviathan, so maybe the Cadult of Forge Master is not worth taking. It is a way for me to sacrifice like my Winter Orb at some point, though. I'm going to try it. Yep. Mindslaver combo is one of my favorite things to do. What are the codes? What do you mean, what are the codes? They're for uh, Magic Arena. 
redeem them for a pack if you haven't already. Hey, Silvos85. Wait a minute, is Silvos an 8-5? I think it is, right? Thanks for that, Twitch Prime. Silvos, Rogue Elemental, or whatever his name is. And that was one of my favorite cards back in the day. You miss them, where can you find them? <sighs> They're gone forever. Sorry, man. Big old bonfire, perhaps. Uh, vantage, or... Shores for, de for Demonic Tutor? What? Maybe. Maybe I should have still taken it. Would I still run the fast bond? Probably. <clears throat> we still have one card, uh, rather, one draw seven. We're not really a storm deck anymore. We're doing more brown. Oh my god, we wield it. That's great. More often than not, I imagine that Enlightened Tutor goes and finds Fast Bond, but. These three are all powerful cards. I don't think we'd run any of them, though. Okay, Rakdos is Return on the Wheel as well. Probably cut Mind's Desire. Currently, yes, Mind's Desire is a cut. But if we start getting some more fat, some more Eldrazi or top end card, you never know. We're not. The cards we have right now don't really lend toward Tendrils. I like Time Twister. I like LED. I like Portal. It's probably Time Twister when we have the Fast Bond. And this much early artifacts to dump our hands, so seems like a good pickup. Tezzeret could be a win con. <laughs> uh, what does Volcanic Island do? <sighs> Fixes for explosion, kind of. Orzov Signet could be a pick. This usually wheels, though, I feel like. Oh my. I guess I take it? I don't have Tinker, but. I have Forge Master, I have Lightning Greaves. That itself is probably worth it, and I can ramp to it. No problem. We're passing a Mystical, a Counterspell, and a Chalice. It's a good place to be, though. <clears throat> This has potential. Fast Bond. Yeah, and it's my only green card, too. But now I have two draw sevens. I don't know. It's definitely worth splashing for, I think. We have Golgari Signet to splash for. And our mana requirements are not difficult. Like, look at that. We have two white cards, two blue cards. Yeah, that's it's not hard to play that card. Sure, three blue if you count the explosion. Time spiral. Oh baby. Now I now there's no way I'm not playing fast bond. I love the top, but man. Time spiral is too good. Oh, sundering titties. Hell yeah. I think Sea Chrome Coast would also be another great pickup, but I'm gonna take the Sundering. <clears throat> I guess repeal. No, I I think upheaval is in pack one. What what what? FPS? What are you talking about over here? What's going on? Look at chat for one second. You guys are talking about dirty things. I. If only we had a Talarian Academy with this deck. 
You mean this card? This card right here that is in fact in my deck. I don't think this is a very good treasure cruise deck. <laughs> no. <coughs> Actually, am I supposed to take Elspeth here as another win con? I'm probably supposed to. <laughs> Poor baby. Oh, actually, Oath. If I cut the Lodestone Golem... Eh, this is a maybe. That's a maybe. Oh, you know what? Wrath also might be very, very good. Ah, Chrome. Nice. That was a great wheel. I'm wondering if I'm running Oath of Druids in this deck. It's very bad with Elspeth, but it's good otherwise. I normally don't put mocks in my main deck just because I consider them as lands. For when I'm deck building, anyway. Sideboard Oath, maybe. It seems like it could be pretty good here, but yeah, maybe a sideboard card. I like running the Wrath main. And 17 lands is probably fine with 3 draw 7s plus the Fast Bond. So we're running Coast, yes. Workshop, definitely. Academy, definitely. Ruins is actually all not that amazing, is it? I mean, I imagine I still run it, especially since I have Memory Jar, but it doesn't have, like, the infinite combo with Mind Slaver that I want. And then Inspiring Vantage has, like, pseudo value for uh, explosion purposes. Do I have any other red swords in my deck? Actually, besides this Vantage and the Lotus Bloom, I cannot actually Explosion, can I? <coughs> this might be worse than, say, Repeal, then, if that's the case. I like Bloom for not only Balance, but also, uh, where was it? Just the Academy. Mainly balance, I guess. It's a free card. I think I'm going to go without the Oath for now. The Rakdos' Return is also too hard to cast. I so I might as well just run like two. Five, six, seven, eight, nine... Two forests? I could probably even get away with three, honestly. I don't need that much white or... Yeah, the ruins is medium. It's fine with, like, jar. It's definitely not necessary. I can probably... Yeah, I can probably get away without the academy ruins. I'd definitely run it if I had the mind slaver, but... This is fine. All right, BRB. <sighs> Vapor Snag, what's up, dude? Thanks for that Twitch Prime. <sighs> oh, turn one balance. Yes. Idiot. Gonna make you discard a few cards. Uh-oh, reanimator? Discard a card? 
to learn Academy there would have been insane. <laughs> Alright, reanimate your warm coil. I can beat it. Do doot doot. Do do doot. Say hello to my little friend. Dece. Could have also untapped two artifacts and cast balance. But I guess that's good enough. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't blink or you'll miss it. <laughs> what a hand! What's the worst that can happen? I mean, really. Oh, yes. Got a green source now? A green source and we win. Oh, what? Fine. Fine. Whatever, dude. What's a better card? Black Lotus or Lotus Bloom? Oh! You have Gorios? Or Shallow Grave? <sighs> that doesn't actually kill me. That just very close to kills me. We're not actually dead here. Okay. Look, I'm just giving him a new fresh seven. It's fine. Trust me. Again, what's the worst that could happen here? Nothing. You're right. They didn't discard anything in response either. I don't know what I'm supposed to enlighten Tutor for if I am. <clears throat> Jar? Maybe. I also kind of want to just play Elspeth. 
Let's see if I, let's see, I'm gonna have one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess I can just get light steel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh no, that's not enough. I don't have enough white. I have two white available to me right now. I think I just draw naturally here. That's pretty good. Last deck went one and two. I mean, if they had Kolagon's command, they would have already cast it, right? Yep, Sundering Titan's a good one to get. Just keeping them off mana when I have a Lodestone Golem on the battlefield and an active Elspeth seems real good. Sure, I mean, it depends on what they do, of course. <laughs> Right. <coughs> well, for getting hit by an Emrakul, we are actually still in that. <sighs> so, what if I had what if I had tutored for Sundering Titan? Would I have won that game? No, I only killed two of their lands. So they still, I don't know. That's a good hand. Turn two golem. We vintage now. Suck it. If you didn't have anything on turn one. Can't cast it, sucker! Yeah. Taste my load. <laughs> That's a spicy one, too. The thing is, memory jarring versus them is a little bit sketchy. Do I want a time spiral though? I kind of want a time spiral. I can cast Time Spiral and then Memory Jar in response, yes. Oh, I'm one short! Oh, you're right! I can't cast it this turn. Silly me. Silly me. Discard Shouldred. Well, now I kind of want a jar. Oh, why did I play a land already? If I was gonna do this. Oh, I just lost out on Talarian. I guess that's not a huge deal. I suppose it doesn't really matter. Yeah, no, it does. Maybe I don't even cast this. Oh, I could hit fast bond here, actually. I could hit fast bond here. Okay, so all these cards are getting discarded anyways. If they discard an Eldrazi, then they have to shuffle every- Yeah! Suck it! Oh, their hand was poop! Wow, their hand was garbage! It was Black Lotus, Emrakul, Iona, just jank. What is this? Oh, 
I've actually never seen this card in play before. Oh, that's right, it was the jar hand. You're right. I mean, I guess I just spiral, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, I want to play a land in case we draw the fast bond, and I don't want to re hit the land. Okay. Well, we could actually win this turn. Depending on what this thirst for knowledge hits, we can win this turn. Do I want to do that though? All right, if we hit Kaldotha Forge Master here, we win. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so we can win next turn. Actually, I could still hit Forge Master here. Oh my god, <laughs> these hits are lol. Okay. Let's see if we get Emrakuld. No Emrakul. Shouldred and Amir Battlesphere. Reanimate. Okay. We still win here, right? Three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. White Chainer's Edict. Oh, I'm always serious. That's why they're never on. Help, you're stuck. Freya is cuddling you. I don't believe it. Freya doesn't cuddle. Why not go Ulamog? Uh... <laughs> Because Blightsteel, duh. <coughs> this doesn't look like a keep. But it is. I have a Wrath versus a creature deck. I have Thirst to Filter. I have Workshop, which could potentially be insane. Little Moxie. Actually, I should have played Mox, Thirsted, and workshopped into an artifact, but what's done is done. Uh oh. That's a lot of lands. I can repeal my Mox to draw a card. Opponent discarded Grizzle Brand. Now they're discarding Necrotal. Uh, 
The funny thing is balance really gets Grizzlebrand real good. Okay, that's slightly annoying. I guess I wait one more turn. Am I dropping frames? Uh, I have not dropped any frames since starting the stream. So I would imagine it is in fact just you. Oh, I can repeal their mold drifter with it on the stack. Yes. I'm just gonna repeal the Liliana here. That's a good one. It's probable that I'm not even supposed to play out the uh, the signet so that I can hold up a a good card to discard, but. If they just if their best play is Lily here, they're not going to win. Why make tokens? Wait, why wouldn't I make tokens? They don't have a massacre room in their graveyard. But we don't even know if they have the re like they they hadn't done anything. We don't even if they didn't have a reanimate at that point, I guess it'd have to be Living Death specifically, but we still had Wrath of God in hand. Maybe that's true though. Maybe maybe dump my hand, balance, then plus. <coughs> oh baby, this is a snap it. Truth, truthfully vintage things. Come on with the blue explorer, you cheater. Lily, do it. <laughs> Sucker. Sucker! You thought it was good, but it was bad all along. Womp womp. Womp womp. <laughs> womp womp. Womp womp. Hey, Time Walk and Soul Ring? What the heck? Who is this person? Eh, all right, I'll memory jar. That was a terrible memory jar. I'm one short of Sundering Titan. Three, four, five, six, seven. What the heck? All right, I guess I time twister. And try to hit some artifact here. What the heck? Uh, got him! <laughs> I didn't have 8 mana. We're gonna reshuffle everything, right? Oh no, we already had afterwards. <gasps> no! Crucible! After I made him discard one of their hands! Oh, well that's good. Draw 14, play Signet. Isn't that the play that you came to see? Draw 14, play Signet? I think that's... Oh my god, do they have Grizzle? Wait, this is an X spell. Oh, they're one short because of Lodestone! <laughs> Suck it! 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Who knows why they scooped, but they did, and I accept. Draw 14, <laughs> Signet, opponent concedes. Uh, so unlucky, I don't have Workshop in hand. I gotta mulligan this. This is a pretty bad hand, too. I don't want it, but I'm gonna keep it. Martian Economist. Hey, thank you, friend, for that Twitch Prime sub. <coughs> Might as well repeal the mom when I st still can. We need some help because Ulamog and Sundering Titan don't feel like they're going to be cast anytime soon. Really hoping the opponent just plays another creature this turn. No! No, not that creature though! No! White source off the top. Oh god, white source off the top! Please! Damn it, god damn it, god damn it! Oh, now they flip Kithy in and we lose. Ah! Poop, poop. Oh. What? 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 Why didn't they flip their legions landing? Are they just going to Armageddon me? Oh, they're, that's what, they're Armageddoning. That's why they didn't the attack. They didn't want to flip and transform. Wait. Oh, God. Please. Please balance Armageddon something. Or balance our planes. The crazy thing is, we're still not out of this. Why Why didn't they do that last turn? Why didn't they do that last turn? They gave me a chance! They gave me a chance by not doing that last turn. <sighs> Damn it. Maybe. Yeah, they might have been playing around a counter. So, right, that was a bad hand. Now we're just going to crush him with a good hand. I'm not going to say it's a good hand. It's a fine hand. Oof. How many opponents is that now that has had a soul ring? Too many by my count. Oh, God. Uh, Telerian Academy, please. <coughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, take ten? Okay. I have Wrath, I have Balance, I have some other cards. Why am I not holding up a uh, blue for a repeal? Yeah, it probably doesn't matter. <laughs> probably gonna get punished by a Legion's Landing, but probably doesn't matter. <laughs> it mattered! <laughs> they had a token! So, if I play Workshop, I can't Time Spiral next turn. Uh, 
Uh, assuming I play the Lodestone. I think I'm just going to play Forest Pass, take 5. I'm going to have to Time Spiral next turn and hope to hit, like, Balance. <laughs> just the Accountant. Thanks for that, Twitch Prime. I'm not sure if I want to play the Workshop, though. I think I'd rather Time Spiral and hope to hit Academy. Because I don't need to tap any of those, do I? No, I do, because it plays around Mana Tide nonsense. I should be using up all my blue first as well. I mean, this doesn't mean we win, but... Ah, they did have a tithe. All right, so we'll use the mana from the blue. Wow! So I cast Memory Jar, search for balance, I guess. I, I can't, if I, if I don't tap Telerian, then I don't have white for balance to save me. Okay. They're just going to attack for three and cast Ravages, and I lose. <sighs> well, Wrath of God's back in our deck, as is Balance. Actually, you know what? We still have a draw. Wait. That's a problem. Is there an artifact that I can get? Hey, congrats to Omen47 and S Glacier one getting gifted subs from Dementia. <clears throat> oh yeah, you're right, it can get Lodi. Well, that's good. They might have redrawn mana tithe, so I have to. Oop. So I have to play for play the land here. I can't get Forge Master. It only has four loyalty to start. <laughs> we also lose to a removal spell, which, I mean, I haven't really given them any targets yet, so. Womp womp. Nah! GG's. This channel is sponsored by Inked Gaming. Go to inkedgaming.com for awesome playmats, dice bags, and more.